Hi, so welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, your B. Lambert's law and the relationship between absorbance and concentration. So there's a linear relationship between absorbance and concentration. So when your sample is absorbing light, depending on the concentration, you will transmit light back to the detector to detect. Now, the way that concentration affects this relationship is if the concentration is too high, the electrostatic interactions within your solution will affect the linear relationship between them. So your absorbance value ideally should be sitting between zero and two. As soon as you go higher than two, then you're outside of that linear relationship and it starts getting distorted. So the concentrations that you wanna be using are up into 0.01 molar. So as long as you stay below 0.01 molar, then your relationship should work fairly well. So using millimolars, you don't wanna go above 10 millimolar solutions. So this is really good to keep in mind when you're doing experiments in the lab to make sure that you stay within that range. So thank you very much for listening to this little video and I'll see you next time.